Last year, an insured trawler ban came into effect in Sussex. A group of passionate local divers had campaigned for the ban for 20 years after witnessing the devastation of the seabed. They decided that they would never let the sea be out of sight and out of mind again. My name is Eric Smith. I am now 74 years old. I started diving in the Sussex Bay when I was 11 um, with a group of lads. Got the gear from Woolworths. Great fun. There was fish everywhere. There was kelp. Uh, every rock we looked on a kelp. The kelp was clean. The sea was clean. Some of the clearest waters I've ever seen in my life. Um, over, the, over the last 30 years, we noticed things were getting worse and worse and worse. The, the fisheries, the trawlers were wreaking havoc across our seas, taking everything um, and I kept diaries all my life and looking back on the diaries it made me realise, you know, when you look back on them what a horror story it was building into the fact that the ecosystem was had gone down to about 97% of what it was when I was a lad. I've been diving for sort of 45 years, um, seeing sort of the devastation, some of the things that are happening in the sea, some of the trawling, some of the sewage, etc., etc. Um, and a few years ago, um, sort of like minded divers that I dive with all the time really wanted to show people what was going on, decided to film it, put it out there, um, and it's really taken off. Yeah, Sussex Underwater has started um, to let the public see what's under our own seas in Sussex and uh, how beautiful it is because it was out of sight, out of mind. People didn't see it. You see these things happening and you get quite passionate about it and what you know, what you, what you can do yourself, how you can highlight it, how you can change it. We're just sort of, just a few people just trying to do something. Um, but it seems to have really caught off in a big way. We've got so many people following the Facebook site and talking about it, making it far more aware. I think one of the, the main aims of Sussex Underwater is to show people what we've got underwater, you know, in our local seas, um, so then people can develop a relationship with it and hopefully care for it. So we have a lot of people on our sites who are, we, we have fishermen, um, we have people that are divers, we have paddle boarders, we have sea swimmers. Anyone that has sort of affiliation with the sea seems to really love looking at the footage that we take. And I think that's because it's under the water, which they don't often actually see. So we're showing them a, a unique world, basically. I think Sussex Underwater is the perfect platform in order to meet those people. You know, you're connected right there to someone else who cares about the ocean just as much as you do. It's a very positive sight and uh, when you get a lovely letter from an 86 year old that lost her husband last year and uh, she would love to go dive but she can't. <laughs> That's what's really nice about it. And when, you, when I go to my local doctor and she said to me Oh, I follow your site. <laughs> it makes you realise how many people we're getting to. It's such a wide collection of people that you'd never think would sort of even know about what's going on offshore. 
um, and they all suddenly know about this cult project and it's all through Sussex Underwater in their videos because they're bringing what you know used to be invisible right to us and making it so visible and shouting about the need for us to care about our local sea. A group of people with that shared vision and shared passion for the sea. Um, it's such a beautiful thing that we have here and it's great to have a like, to, to share that with like-minded people um, that, that want to save it and, and just, you know, give it a voice and and just share it with so many people. Um, I think what we have here is is a beautiful thing. It's a blessing to us all and we need to nurture it and treasure it. We need to educate people about it and how wonderful it is and how important it is to all of us. I mean, uh, a healthy ocean is a healthy planet. A story captures your imagination, it brings people together and it brings them to a common cause that they care about. That's what Sussex Underwater are doing, they're telling the story of our ocean, that we we all have to care about it because suddenly we're seeing something that's right there on our doorstep. So Sussex Underwater has helped people to love their local environment, their local seas and that's so important in terms of kind of globally and looking at climate change and thinking about the world as a whole and how we need to save it and support it. I think we all need to start thinking locally as well as globally because local people have got the passion and the drive to take these things forwards and to make a change. I started off as a small group of friends, a small group of divers with an aim to make a difference and you know before, in no time we've got nearly eight and a half thousand members who are all being inspired to hopefully do that bit. I think if we all do our bit to look after, you know, whether it's, our, whether it's the sea, whether it's our local community, if everybody does that bit, that's going to have global, you know, implications. It's going to be improvements on a, on a massive scale. There's so much hope and optimism for the future. And I think if we were to extrapolate the current rate of um, feeling and groundswell for this, I think we genuinely can change uh, the world for the better for what we have here and leave a legacy for our children.